how the procedure went and uh, whether that was typical for, for EVLT or endovenous uh, ablation uh, procedures. I would say, yeah, fairly typical. Again, uh, Nancy, in her particular case, she's really slender. Um, and so uh, there may be a couple of small issues, maybe a bit harder um, in some ways to get into the greater saphenous vein just to initially cannulate it because it's so close to the surface, maybe a bit more finicky, but that went well. Um, a lot less sort of uh, of that, uh, you know, fatty tissue sort of uh, insulation around the greater saphenous vein. Um, and so there can be, uh, those patients can feel a little bit more of the heat from the, uh, from the laser. Um, and she had one episode of that, and, uh, but it resolved really quickly and otherwise uh, uh, no trouble there. Um, I would say otherwise, things went, things went well with her, but went about the way that they usually go. Yeah. I just finished the uh, procedure, the VLT, 10 minutes ago, and I feel great. I'm ready to go and continue the rest of my day. I don't feel that there would be any physical restriction, and I feel strong. The sensation I had when they were doing the uh, lasering of the vessel on the way out, which is the very most important part of the procedure because you don't want the probe coming out too quickly. You want a good result. Um, you do have a bit of a burning sensation, but it is something that, again, is not that uncomfortable and it is definitely tolerable and it does not last very long, no more than two, three minutes. We here, we don't try to sort of sell this procedure as being completely pain-free or completely risk-free. It's, uh, while it is a minimally invasive um, alternative to surgical stripping, it still has some discomfort associated with it and there's still some element of risk. Both of those things um, are less with an endovenous minimally invasive approach than with traditional stripping, but they're not zero. And so uh, patients do still have some uh, discomfort at the thigh area often in the days after the procedure, which you could only expect um, having ablated that vein with, uh, with heat energy. Um, most will have at least some element of bruising, um, both from the heat and then also with our technique with the foam sclerotherapy that we use. Um, so there's, uh, there's that that occurs in the days afterward. And for some, and everybody's different, again, and every procedure is a little bit different. Everybody's anatomy, each person's anatomy is a little bit different. Uh, and so some sail through with no complaint whatsoever. Some have more bruising than others. So there's a bit of a spectrum there. I, I think I've mentioned before that uh, I am an operating nurse and I have seen uh, veins stripped in the OR and the saphenous being tied off, ligated and just comparing it to the EVLT, I would imagine that my recovery time is going to be quicker and it's going to be easier because it's definitely less invasive. They didn't have to cut through layers of tissue in order to do, in essence, the same job. So I would definitely consider if my other leg were to be an issue, I would definitely have an EVLT as opposed to going to the OR.